Hi everyone, still in hospital, week three. But I just wanted to give a um, public service announcement to um, all the aunties and uncles that work within the NHS because my experience this time with them has been something else. I know aunties, um, you guys are used to speaking recklessly to people, to young women and children telling us how fat we are and blah, 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 we need to lose weight or bringing up, um, telling us to get, get married and have babies, blah, blah, blah. But you can't be saying those things in a professional setting. I'm in hospital, I'm a patient and you're telling me in front of another nurse, you're saying to another nurse about me, how I am fat and I need to walk 10,000 miles to lose the weight. And then you're also pointing at my stomach, grabbing at my stomach and in front of somebody else, like in front of a mbili or you walk. Do you know how embarrassing that is? And then I've also had another one going, they hope next time they see me, I have a baby. I'm, I, you know, and it's like, why should I have a baby? Why are you telling me this when I'm in, in hospital for nothing related to babies? Like, you can't just speak anyhow to people. You're working, this, I'm a patient, this is a professional setting. Like, they could, you could, they could have, I, I could make a complaint and escalate things much more, but I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, because I just know that that's how your mouths are. You just speak recklessly but you've got to get it together. You can't be speaking to people like that. It's horrible. And like the whole 10,000 miles walk thing actually ended up triggering me, triggering my ED. Like I've been, I've, I've been struggling with it for a while now. And then to, to, for somebody to then be like, yeah, you are fat. Yeah, you need to go and lose weight. I ended up like walking, leaving the hospital and walking around and I'm doing it again today. And in my head, it's like, I have to do 10,000 steps now. If I don't do any, if I don't do 10,000 steps, I'm literally sitting there like shaking and, and worrying, full of anxiety. And then I'm like, I'm standing, I'm doing star jumps. I'm walking on the spot by my bed. Like when I should be resting, I should be resting. like. My liver is basically on the downfall and I should be resting. But my mind is now thinking of, of food and weight and everything. And it's like when I'm eating, I'm now really just feeling disgusting and horrible. And that's just because one person made a comment that was unnecessary. Aunties, stop that. You're at work. I'm not your, your friend's daughter, blah, blah, blah. I'm a patient. You don't know me. You can't be speaking like that to people. Please stop that. Anyways, that's my little rant done because it, it's been getting to me. It, like, and also the person who said the 10,000 mile steps things did apologize, but it was one of those, if I offended you, I didn't mean it. It's not, I'm sorry for my comments that I made that was unnecessary and it was rude. It was, if I offended you, which is basically a non-apology, but you know, when do aunties ever apologize properly to us? So that's my rant done. I'm gonna go back to the ward because my mouth is extremely dry now and I need to rest. <laughs> I haven't hit 10,000, but I'm gonna do the rest later today. Anyways, bye everyone. And like, just keep me in your prayers, please. Thank you, bye-bye.